Aloha class. So going on to 12-6, um, you will be given the PV tables on your exam. Um, and so we're trying to compare the two projects. Whatever is going to have a higher NPV, that's the one we'd go with. Discount rate 18%. Which one would they accept? And we need two analysis. Um, so we could write that out. This is how many, oh, this is a 10-year project. So remember, we do 0, 1, oh, 1, 2. Right, and so we would continue on till 10 years, and we want two different projects. Oh, no, that's not what we wanted. Here we go, here's our 10 year project. And for one, and for the other. Okay, so the, the initial investment would be negative 35,000. Um, annual cash inflows would be 9,000 as an annuity an annuity so make sure we use an annuity factor um, and don't get confused like we um, almost got trapped last time um, single cash inflow at the end of 10 years so I'm just looking at project X let's just deal with project X life of the project 10 years um, anything else anything else for project X no working capital um, no salvage value oh maybe this is the salvage value project Y um, and yeah, that's all I can see that's going on with Project X. Um, Project Y um, has no cash inflows and then it has a single inflow at the end of 10 years. So let's see how that will play out. At the end of 10 years, a single cash inflow of 150000 So this is Project X. Project Y does not have this inflow and then it has 150000 at the end of the year. Um, and so I just like to see it laid out before I start doing the PV factors. So it is laid out. This is um, at year zero, so we really don't need a discount rate. That's at 0 .1, 1.00. And then we have this 9,000 inflow for 10 years. So 10-year annuity at 18% rate. And we got the 18% from the problem. It said company's discount rate. So we have to... Um, receive a project that's um, at least 18% to accept the project, right? So that's our annuity. We could go. We can go look up the rate. This problem, we have the 35,000. Oh, sorry, 35,000 initial outlay, and then we have a one-time payment of 150,000 at the end of 10 years. One-time payment, payment at 18%. So do not use an annuity for this one. We can go look up that rate. And same one rate. Nothing special about this. Oh, man. Okay. So let's go look at those factors. 10-year annuity. Are we at an annuity? This is $1. PV of $1. That's a one-time payment. We need the annuity. Um, yes, and this would be the cumulative present value. So annuity. Um, and we said 18%. Um, for 10 periods, 4.494, 4 4.494, 4.494, 4 and then what about the one-time payment at 18%? So go back to your PV of one-time payment, 18% for 10 years, 10 years, 10 years, 18% looks like 0.191. 0.191. And we can move that over a little bit. Move this over. And maybe make this even bigger. So remember, this was Project X. Ooh, here we go. Can I move it over? Project X. And so we can calculate our NPV now that we have all the factors. this down as well. So remember, make sure you're do times in the correct amount, but it was in the same um, sort of reference, and so that was okay. Make sure your formulas are correct, and we can turn this into dollars. So it looks like Project X is looking um, like it's hitting the 18%, exceeding the 18% the NPV. Remember the 18% rate, required rate of return. Um, project Y does not look so good with that one-time payment and no annuity, no cash flows in between years. 
So I would be accepting project X on this one because it's meeting our NPV requirement. It's not only greater, it's not only zero, but it's a, it has um, $5,446 of cushion above zero, um, which is above our 18%. If it was zero, 18% threshold would have been met.